as part of clinical trial programming series today we will see how to derive baseline flag in sttm lb data set where lb cat is present in the data so if you take a look at the left side of the screen so we have some input data and the final output that we are going to derive looks something like this so in this data which we are going to uh, check we have glucose being estimated in blood and urine so test cd is the same for both the samples but lb can differentiate these two tests so if you see so glucose is present under hematology and urinalysis and we need to have a separate baseline record for glucose estimation in blood and urine and then we also need to have the definition of baseline and the baseline definition is given as the last known assessment on or prior to reference start date let us take a look at the input data set for this so here if you see on each day we have uh, glucose test being performed under hematology and also under urinalysis so on 11th jan so we do have two records for glucose and one under hematology and the second one under urinalysis so for convenience i have sorted these rows such that all the categories appear together so i have sorted the data sets in such a way that all hematology records appear together and then followed by all urinalysis records so let us again manually check whether each record qualifies for baseline and then identify the actual baseline record so under hematology so we let us take a look at the first record so the first thing we need to see is like whether the result is present and the second thing we need to check is whether the collection is on or prior to the reference started so this record has a non missing result and the collection is before reference started so this record is eligible for considering it as a baseline record and then we have this second record which is collected on 11th jan when compared to the 15th jan reference start date and it has a non missing result so this record is also eligible and then on the third record if we see so we this record is collected on 14th jan and it says the whereas the reference start date is 15 this is prior but the result is absent so this record is not eligible so on the next record the collection is on 15th jan and the reference start date is also on 15th jan by definition for our baseline so it the record can be on or prior so this is on the same day as reference start date this is still eligible as we have a non missing result so let us also mark this similarly let us identify the eligible records under urine analysis for the glucose test so we have 10th jan 11th jan and 14th jan all three records have non missing results and we also have a record on 15th jan so this record is also eligible so the other two records are collected on 16th and 18th jan of 2010 and but the reference start date is on 15th jan so these records are not eligible out of the eligible records the latest records latest records under hematology and urine analysis becomes the baseline the latest records under hematology of are of like 10th 11th and 15th 15th jan is the latest record so this record becomes our baseline and similarly so out of 10th 11th 14th and 15th 15th jan record is the latest so this record becomes our baseline so so we have manually identified the record which is becoming baseline for us so let us see how to programmatically derive this so in order to derive a baseline flag we need we have three major steps the first one is to subset the records that qualify for baseline out of those qualifying records so we have to identify the latest record and we have to use the key variables on that latest record to populate the baseline flag in the parent data set 
So the first step is to read and process input data set in the example data which we are being provided with has the reference start date into the lab data set itself. If we do not have the reference data start date and lab data set available, we need to fetch it from SDTM demographics domain by using a merge step. So as there is no additional processing required, I'm just creating a copy of the lab data set which is provided to us. And then the second step is to subset the records that qualify for baseline. So the, the two components for, uh, for a record to be qualified is non-missing result and the second one is the date of collection should be on or before reference start date. So we are checking for both the condition with an AND operator in between and then filtering the required records. Let us take a look at the output data set that is generated out of this. So we have identified that there were three eligible records under hematology and then four records under urinalysis of uh, like for hematology 10th, 11th and 15th and for urinalysis 10th, 11th, 14th and 15th. So let us take a look at base 01 and see if we have three records for hematology. Yes, we do have and then we have four records eligible for urinalysis that is corresponding to 10th, 11th, 14th and 15th. So this code is working as expected. And the next step is to identify the latest record. So we have seen that multiple records qualify for baseline period. So we need to choose the latest record. So in order to choose the latest record, we first need to sort the data set such that the latest record comes at the end within each test category and subject. So after we sort the data set, we can make use of last dot variable approach to filter the relevant records. So here we have sorted the records based on subject, category, test CD and date. So we will have the last record within each test and category uh, filtered by making use of last dot lb test cd so in this data set base 02 we will have one record per lab test cd and category per subject so as we have only one subject and two lab categories and one lab test so we'll have two records in the output data set that is created from this code let us take a look at the base 02 data set and see if we have one record per lab category yes we do have one record per LB test CD per subject and per lab category. So, and, and we have manually identified that for both the hematology and urinalysis, 15 Jan record is becoming baseline. So if we take a look at base 02, so those two records are identified. The key variables here to identify the baseline are subject, category, test CD, and the date of sample collection. So we will make use of these key variables and populate the baseline flag in the parent data set using a merge step. So as discussed, so we are making use of base 02 data set as this data set has the records which has the records which correspond to the baseline time point. So we are only keeping the key variables and merging it to the parent data set based on the key variables which identifies the baseline time point. So we are flagging those time points which are identified as baseline with Y in the LBBLFL variable. So whenever we are merging back, so we need to make sure that only the required variables are kept in, kept in the base 02 data set. Otherwise, any common named variables present in base 02 data set would overwrite the values of in the with the values in the parent data set that is lb01 so this is how we can derive baseline flag in a lb data set within each lab category so thank you for watching and keep learning